And a project specialist with the Clean Islands Council developed a new and unique piece of technology here in Hawaii that's helping to measure that oil spill. He's just returned home from the Gulf Coast. KITV4 Shane Enright spoke with him and joins us now with more. Shane, what role did this piece of equipment play? Paula, the council was created to respond to local oil spills, but that piece of equipment traveled thousands of miles to help combat the massive Gulf spill. This is the C3 fluorometer. The instrument itself is this little um, plastic piece you see in there. You it took Brian Perskall three years to develop the in-situ fluorometer, which can measure oil spills. We tow it from a boat at about anywhere from two to four knots, and we record the amount of oil that this thing is picking up. The fluorometer admits ultraviolet light, exciting the oil, which in turn admits its own light. The instrument immediately records the data, sending it back to a computer on board the boat. This gives uh, particularly the NOAA scientists a feeling for how well the dispersant is working. And that's a time-sensitive data. It need, they need to have that right away. If the dispersants are not effectively breaking up the oil, officials can then change their response. Parscall developed six fluorometer packages for the U.S. Coast Guard. And for nearly a month, at the agency's request, Parscall assisted guardsmen with measuring the massive Gulf coal spill. It's very, very hectic. Very hectic. There's a, a lot of people doing a whole bunch of different things. Um, I was there to do one job. I just focused on that one job. The equipment is lighter, faster, and more reliable than its predecessor, with a design allowing it to move barely under the water's surface. The fluorometers were ready in the fall and were activated soon after the Gulf spill. Pascal says having the advanced technology in time for the spill was... I don't know about ironic. I'd say lucky. I'd say lucky. I would not want to be out there in the Gulf with that old instrument. This was so much nicer to use. Yeah. Overall, I have to say it was a, a big success. Parscall says scientists told him the oil readings looked encouraging. Reporting live, Shane Enright, KITV4 News. All right, thank you, Shane. And we want to um, let you know that the president is speaking at 2 o'clock. That's also the time of Game 6 of the Lakers Celtics. ABC at this point in time is deciding which will be airing at 2 o'clock. So we'll let you know as soon as we know.